Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And I am back in Industrial Overhaul. It is day 32 here on the Frozen Rock. And I've run into some, uh, well, I won't say technical difficulties, but uh, I noticed that the air traffic that was coming by here a little bit ago. It also had drones escor escorting it. Now, I don't know if they will attack. I suspect they will if you get too close to them. So, I think we have new priorities. <clears throat> I think I need to start looking at how to better fortify the base. I've already got two blocks in place or two defense bunkers. Uh, I think what I need to do is put a few more of these defense bunkers up and around. And we can do that fairly easily. But I would like to try to put in maybe something a little more sturdy uh, or with a little more firepower. Something like the Gatling turret. Uh, it requires advanced computers, 10. So I think we can put that up fairly easy. And I think from the ammo, I'm trying to remember, the Gatling turret. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I got to go look at probably in the assembler. Yeah, see, we got that supply transport. It's getting further away, which is good. So, hopefully, we are not going to run into any difficulties too soon. But let's get over to the assembler. And let's see what ammo... I believe it's the NATO... Uh, let's see... Oh, it's not this... Oh, crap. You know what I... You know what I gotta build? I think I know what I gotta build. Uh... I think I have to... Let's go down to production blocks. Which I haven't yet. Uh, microelectronics, wire drawer, auto loom. Uh, a munitions factory. And I think I can build that now. So I think that's the first thing we've got to build is a munitions factory. And we can start putting in some bunkers. So the question is, where do I put that munitions factory in at? What if we kind of plugged it in somewhere over here? Uh, I could build this out. And be able to plug it into the system right here. Yeah, I gotta check something while I'm here. So, why aren't you producing? You got bauxite in there? Oh, I had, it's because I had it turned off. That's right. Purified bauxite. Let's see here. Inventory. The rock crusher has got nothing in it. That's good. So, which means that is all done. The, so, everything coming from here. 
and it's got uh, purified bauxite and so yeah everything's through so the refinery can uh, be uh, getting the purified bauxite all right so I think I am going to plug well maybe we start putting it in out over here need to spread out a little bit if I was to plug it in that munitions factory put it in right here we can then let's see where do I want to pipe it in at or I've got this right here this would be an easy spot to plug it in right here so let's actually pull out that munitions factory. Where'd you go? There. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, it's not very big at all, is it? T two spots. What if we got over here if I plugged it in right there plug it in right here fairly easy right there's and then that would be tied into the system uh, I need a steel plate I can get that right here uh, plate stamp two steel plates plug it in right here all right yeah let's plug that in right there all right let's do this and let's uh, grab our components Alright, can't get the steel plates. Okay, it needs the steel plates. Where do I have? Do I have steel plates over here? No, I had some stored somewhere. Oh, right here. What am I missing here? Steel plates. Huh. Unless it's pulling it from over here. Alright, something's been kind of messed up here. You know what? Tired of messing around with that. Let's uh, clear that out. And let's just do it this way. There we go. Now that should get this done. <coughs> okay. So this is our munitions factory.
All right, now this should give us the ability. <coughs> Let me make sure here we're connected in like we're supposed to be. Uh, inventory. Let's go fabricator. And I should be able to... Yeah, it's connected in. All right, perfect. All right, now let's go to production. So I have all of these things that I can produce. So, light turret ammo, the Gatling ammo, which is what I need. So that needs gunpowder, copper ingot, and iron. All right, so what do I need for potassium nitrate? Where do I get that from? Come it's not pulling it in. What's going on here? Oh, it's crap. Okay, so I have all of that bauxite being produced, and it's not getting pushed over to this big, large cargo container. All right, well, I tell you what, I think I've got some logistics to deal with here, and I am going to work on getting my munitions producing and then uh, uh, start uh, building some uh, more turrets in and around the base so once I get uh, a little farther along I will uh, catch back with you all all right just to kind of give you an update on where I'm at uh, I had to go and open up the Niner mine, and that's where I'm at right now. So I just got all filled up. So let's get in and out of the tunnel here, which isn't too bad, actually. I was able to just kind of drill right into the mountainside. And I'm going to be on my way back, and it looks like we've got some weather. Uh, Base is that way. I kind of drilled in around here, so I'm going to have to back up a little bit and see if we can get by the mine. And then i got to head up out over the hill here. So let's let's see if we run into any problems getting out of here. Uh, let's uh, take this off. Let's back up a little bit. Not bad. Of course, that's going downhill. Let's see if we can get in and around here. Okay. So far, so good. I'm kind of going up this draw so that we can get up to the top. Ooh. Kind of got to head this away. All right, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're getting up towards the top, and then this is a little hilly, uh, you know, some valleys and stuff in here. Not as bad as when I went and got the lithium. That was pretty bad. But this gives me. Uh, the niter that I need so that I can start making that potassium nitrate and then we can start making gunpowder so once I get back to base I will uh, catch back up with you all alright just to give you an update I did make it back to base 
and I've got the niter all being processed over there. Uh, I was able to make one case of ammo just to make for sure. And so I started laying out my bunkers, which you've kind of recognized from the others. I put this one out over here, and I'm just going to start working my way around and try to keep them probably about, uh, what is it, uh, 200 kilometers, maybe not even that, kilometers meters 100 meters uh, from each other and just kind of circle the base with it so that should give us some protection uh, this one kind of didn't spawn any escort uh, supply so I don't know if they if it was just on the first time that I started this back up because the mod's been updated so poof there it goes I know I am going to probably end up dealing with them at some point. Uh, so, but I just wanted to kind of give you a look. Uh, I've got uh, the bunker kind of all laid out, the wireframe in. Here's the Gatling turret and uh, the base and everything. Uh, I put an acid battery in here. Uh, so that will kind of have, give it power. And then I've got the wind turbine right here so that it will kind of keep that battery charged up. So I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, let me go ahead and grab the parts that I need for uh, this. And I'll get started building on it. And then once I get it complete, uh, I'll uh, give you a, uh, a look at it. Okay, I have my turret done, and I also can show you why I am uh, concerned about getting some base defenses up. These guys have started, uh, well, you can kind of see it's the uh, transport courier, and there's two escort drones up there. Now, the others don't have escort drones. But I'm guessing that if I got too close to them, that those uh, drones would appear. So, uh, I don't want to mess around with them. And so, I'm just making for sure that I have the base defenses in. So, that's what I'm working on. So, right now, I did get this one finished. Uh, it is in place battery is here so that uh, if uh, the wind turbine gets shot up then uh, it will still have power to shoot also that wind turbine will keep the battery charged and I did get some ammo in here so I got four uh, boxes of uh, Gatling ammo and it's about I'm guessing I could put 10 boxes in here. So that's been down a little bit. I used to be able to put 20 in them, but looks like uh, they've kind of cut some of the uh, storage capacity on it. So uh, I have uh, four boxes, and I have more boxes being made over at the munitions factory that we got put in. So that's it for now. I have, uh, I do have to load up my hydrogen engines they have run out of ice so I need to do uh, get those filled back up so we still have our backup power uh, as you can see they are off uh, no hydrogen so they do consume a lot of fuel so anyway at uh, this point I will uh, kind of keep uh, I'm, I'm going to get these filled up and then I'm going to get some more base defenses uh, built so once I have some more of that in the place I will catch back up with you all all right well just to kind of give you an update and probably going to wrap the video up here pretty quick I'm working on my second 
uh, Gatlin gun turret and as you can see I've kind of got it mostly in place uh, I did get this one over here completely finished so we'll walk over here and take a look at this I also put lights on them so I can see where I'm at uh, so this one's finished it's got the battery in place and this is all prompted because of the new update to the air traffic. Uh, and I just want to make sure we have some protection around the base. So I've got this in place. Uh, we managed to... I've got the uh, ice chests all filled over here. And we'll go take a look at those. Uh, that... Uh, <coughs> My hydrogen engines were off, so that's what prompted me to get this. So this is filled to capacity, and this one is filled to capacity with ice. And so it's not currently using any ice right at the moment, so it means my power is, is caught back up. Uh, <clears throat> we also got a munitions... Uh, refinery. Well, what do, what do we want to call it? We want to call it a munitions factory. So we got the munitions factory in place, and we actually have uh, Gatlin ammo boxes, so I can take and uh, finish uh, filling my uh, uh, Gatlin guns out there. Uh, it doesn't take nearly as much of that as it does for the gravel to create. Uh, ammo for these turrets and honestly I don't know how effective they are but we at least have some protection in place there so that's that and then we did get a load of uh, niter so let's uh, take a look at uh, the chemical factory and so we've got uh, 1.6 K of potassium nitrate and uh, yeah so we've uh, managed to do quite a bit today well I think we're gonna wrap this up it's gonna be a little shorter video today uh, I'm trying to get a few videos ahead and because I'm gonna be going on uh, an extended vacation here pretty soon so just trying to keep keep up with everything and keep the videos out there so you guys have something to watch so yeah so with that i think that's going to wrap the video up all right uh well if you like the video please hit that thumbs up it really helps the video out a lot it helps move it up uh in the search uh search ladder or whatever they want to call it uh and, and please hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel out a lot. So, uh, yeah. So, space engineers out there, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Ooh, boy, I don't like the sounds of that. Achilles Strike Corvette. That looks deadly. Anyway, so keep building away out there. And uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.